So we're out here at Buffalo Road Park. I've been uh, spending the last couple of weeks on my crutches doing a little bit at a time and so I just wanted to come out and see how far I could get. We're gonna try to go all the way down and try to come back and see how uh, how well we do. So I'm not gonna try to run for any uh, sort of speed records or anything like that. We're just gonna keep moving and see how we do. It's very graceful. <laughs> but uh, it's a beautiful day out and I've really enjoyed being on my crutches a lot more. I can definitely tell a difference. I think that one thing that I've had to learn is that setting small goals is a good thing. Uh, not all goals have to be like this enormous breakdown and you don't have to kind of feel overwhelmed all the time. I think this idea of goal setting it's important to realize that breaking it down is a good thing. We talk about how you eat an elephant, right? And that old saying, one bite at a time. Well, taking it one bite at a time and doing it one step at a time will get you a lot further than trying to just run as fast as you can, burn out, and then feel like you don't have enough energy to keep going. So. I like being able to move, even if it's not the fastest. I think that it's an opportunity that I have to show people that no matter where you are in your journey, as long as you put one foot in front of the other, or just take a moment to realize that you can do better than what you did yesterday, I hope I'm able to help somebody make a difference in their own life. One thing that I think people don't realize when I'm on the crutches, whether I'm walking or I'm running, I'd say it's about 60% arms an upper body versus 40% legs. I think my arms, my shoulders, my hands get way more tired than my legs actually do, which is a little frustrating, but I've moved without stopping, so I'm not complaining. I like about running, and I'm sure you can hear it in my breathing, is that it's a full body workout for me and gets my heart rate up a lot faster than any other cardio that I do in the gym. And it's not an everyday, I guess, not something that I'll go out for a long run every day, but it's definitely getting better. About five years ago, I did my first mile, and it took me 59 minutes and 30 seconds to do a mile. So not just an hour, just underneath an hour. And someday, I'll get back to that. But right now, this is a huge victory. I'm gonna turn back around. Stop for just a second to readjust my hands. and head back. So, I feel like I'm a little weird in the sense that when I run one direction or I even walk one direction, it's easier when I'm turning back around. And I don't know, I 
feel like maybe that's just a personal thing, but I always feel like one direction is easier than another. And while it may look like I'm tired, I'm actually moving a little bit faster. windy out today. I'm definitely starting to feel some fatigue, but I'm trying to push through it. I'm not going to stop until we get to the end. Small goals. Think about Something you did yesterday. How could you improve or improve upon it? Could you drink one more glass of water? Could you eat one less snack during the day or unhealthy snack? Even a simple change like that could start making a big difference. This is probably the most I've been on my legs is this week, I think. Uh, I've been staying really active, trying to do as many workouts as possible, but they don't have to be crazy workouts. They could be five to 10 minute workouts. 10 to 15 minutes. Simple movement. The uh, legs are definitely starting to burn. But we're almost there. This is pretty close to 200. Ah. These water fountains are like teases. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a person to want to drink from a public water fountain ever. Because you were spoiled. <laughs> Like tap water. We have a choice of our hose and the neighbor's hose. That's a fun fact about me. Almost there. Come and get it, Steph. Have about Twenty more feet. Awesome. Huh. You did great. Let me show you. So, take a seat here. I'm gonna put my crutches down. So, my hands have definitely taken the brunt of that. My shoulders don't feel so bad, to be honest. And I actually feel like my quads were really firing, which is good. Uh, you know, it normally takes them a while to be able to do that. But like I said, I've been doing a lot more movement. Um, not necessarily Metcons or just trying to stay in that CrossFit realm, but just really just moving um, and trying to be a little bit more active and I can definitely tell a difference. I like feeling out of breath. I know that sounds weird, but it makes me feel like I've accomplished a lot. And 
I think one thing that I wanted to make really clear to people was that, you know, I, I hear often, especially now that I've interacted with a lot more people with CP, like, oh, I could never run because, you know, I'll just fall. But I want you to really think about what running is. Regardless if you have some sort of physical disability or not, I like to think of running as if my feet are able to move faster than when they do when I normally walk or at a walking pace. I'm sorry, but that's considered running to me. Um, I might never beat Usain Bolt or Ty in a race. He liked that I said that earlier. <laughs> Putting Usain Bolt and Ty in the same sentence. But quite honestly, I know the reality is that I'm probably never gonna beat anyone <laughs> in a foot race. And I'm totally fine with that. But knowing that I have the ability to get up and move my body where my brain and my feet work well together so that they're moving faster than when I normally walk, that's a huge victory. And to me, I'm gonna see that as running all day. So I hope this motivates you guys to get up, get moving wherever you are in your journey, wherever you are in just life in general. And if you took three steps yesterday, I hope you take four steps today. So I hope you guys have a great day.